We are here in Michigan today, and as you can see behind me, we are at Hard Milling Solutions, and I am with the OG, yes, the original gangster of Hard Milling, Mr. Corey Greenwald. Starting business in 2004, one statement that I really like that he said is, I don't want to be big. I want to be great. He's actually taken 20 hour programs and turned it into one hour, then multiplied that with four pieces in the same setup, so 80 hours down to an hour. This is what can happen when doing hard milling correctly. So let's step inside, talk with Corey, and see how he's done this since 2004. Hard milling. What do you know about it? Are you an expert? I once thought I was, and then I met Corey. Now I know I have a lot to learn. However, Corey is the hard milling expert and the owner of Hard Milling Solutions. So if you're in that world, if you need to learn more, or even if you didn't know that world existed because you're still hand polishing and grinding, then maybe this is the video for you. And this is the company that you might want to visit to learn a little bit more. Corey, thank you so much for being a part of MTD CNC. You started this company in 2004, but you yourself started all sorts of manufacturing far before that. Can we learn a little bit about you and the development of Hard Milling Solutions. You know what, I started out as a young detailer designer, moved up through process engineering, quality management, um, and then got into production management. And we bought a machine, one of the first five, we believe, in the country uh, in the late 90s at a company I worked. Couldn't find anybody to help develop it, so I jumped in and tackled it, and uh, kind of the rest is history. And um, it was just amazing how much of the manual uh, grinding and EDMing and all of that that we did now is being done on this machine that was more accurate. Um, so many times uh, we were getting beat here in the U.S. on fits and finishes back in those days because things were, were EDMed and then they were benched or stoned and polished and it would change the size of, of those pieces and they weren't as interchangeable anymore. And that, that was the tooling that was making the parts that were going on these automobiles and tractors or whatever. And once we were able to add this hard milling, add this, this uh, really precise way of making this stuff, it eliminated a lot of the EDM, it eliminated a lot of the, the stoning. It come right off the machine accurate and having the single digit uh, surface finishes so you didn't have all that man time and that started making us competitive in the world market again. And uh, so I, I left the company I dealt, developed that for. I stayed out of that industry. And in 2004, we were the first to offer hard milling as a service because there was a lot of companies that had work that we would save them 30, 40%, but it wasn't enough to, to you know, really make sense on a return on investment to buy the equipment and develop it all and then, you know, it just didn't represent enough money to make it uh, make sense. So we gave them that, that avenue and, uh, you know, we've since done work for 350 plus customers. Well, what does the future of Hard Milling Solutions look like? What are you projecting for the next few years, maybe even a couple of decades in the future? What's the future look like? So we, we have some really good young talent um, that we developed and or hired. And I really see palletization, large tool uh, availability in a machine platform, and super high accuracy. Um, those machines, you always say that you can do small parts in a big machine, right? Well, if you have a pallet system, you have a lot of tools available, you have a lot of accuracy, the best accuracy, and five axis you're only limited by weight and size, right? So that's where we're going, but stay I like tuned. It. Yeah, stay tuned for sure. Well, Corey, I'm gonna ask you just, if there's anything that you would like to offer the audience as a closing statement, because it's not every day I get a guru like you on camera, and it's not every day that the audience, a global audience from around the world will have the opportunity to hear you speak, which is one of the great gifts of MTD CNC. So I'd like to take this opportunity, if you have a couple pieces of advice or words of wisdom that you could give the audience. Data, data, data. Collect your data and readjust. You know, go to the Y in the road, Go one way, doesn't work, come back, change one thing at a time. Very simple stuff, right? But collect that data and get better every day. I, 
I'm not a guru. I just been doing it longer than everybody else, right? And I collected the data and have the company own the data. If, if you understand that, I don't want the company to be only good as each individual person. Have, have the company own how you cut and then teach everybody that works for the company to cut that way. And that's what we've done. If you look around, we don't have operators. We don't have people standing in front of machines. We have really great programmers that also do setup and that want to be great. You know, we always said we don't want to be big. We, we want to be, be great. great. And the, as a collective, you continue to be great. It's stronger than the individual. Corey, I am beyond grateful to have this time with you. And because we are a global audience, as you have so much work already to do, do you even want to offer your website for everyone who's watching? Because yeah. you might be overwhelmed. Yeah, we, we'd love to, to help you know customers from around the world out. And uh, you can reach us at www.hardmillingsolutions.com. Reach out and, uh, you know, maybe we can help. I believe you can. And for everyone who's watching, if you're watching this video and you want to learn more about Corey and the company, of course, but about Corey, you can Google articles about him. You can find him all over the place. It really does build that foundation of trust for you. In case you don't have the time or the energy to stop by and meet Corey in person, go online. Meet him there. This guy is incredible and he can be your hard milling solution. Corey, thank you so much, my friend. I do appreciate Tony, you. Thank you so much. Of course.